In this video, we will show you the steps for upgrading an older version of Network Performance Monitor. In this scenario, we will start from NPM 10.4 and bring it up to the latest version. This will be a standalone installation. If you're currently using NPM version 10.3 or earlier, we recommend that you perform a fresh installation. Before you begin, you should perform the following steps to upgrade successfully. Review system requirements, gather credentials, run all Windows updates, back up your database, schedule the upgrade, and notify your company. For additional information, we recommend that you check out the Upgrading the Orion Platform video. Also, if you're planning to migrate your Orion Platform server, we recommend that you upgrade before going forward with the migration. For more information on this process, please watch Migrating an Orion Platform Product Installation. We will start the first upgrade scenario by going to customerportal.solarwinds.com and using the Product Upgrade Advisor to build our upgrade path. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're using Windows 2008 R2 SP1. Our database is MS SQL Server 2008 R2. The product we're upgrading is Network Performance Monitor version 10.4. Because this is a standalone upgrade, we don't need to worry about selecting additional products. The two things to note here are, A, it is compatible to move forward, and B, these are the steps we need to follow. In this scenario, we'll upgrade to 11.01 first and then to 12. Due to changes in the application and the database, the upgrade path requires this two-step process. You must upgrade to NPM 11 before moving on to NPM 12. The Upgrade Advisor provides links to the relevant downloads so we can do it directly from here. If possible, we recommend that this process be completed from the server you're going to do the upgrades on. However, you do have the option to move the files over your network to the folders on the server. Before we run the installation, we need to make sure that the maintenance is current. We can check that from the SolarWinds License Manager. As you can see, we have plenty of time. However, if it was expired, we would need to apply the license before completing the upgrade. The next step is to open the Orion Service Manager and shut down everything. The Service Manager will also be upgraded during this process, so it needs to be closed. Next, we open the files that we already downloaded from the Upgrade Advisor. In this scenario, we're going to upgrade to 11.01 first. Right-click on the file and select Run as Administrator. This notification tells us that a new version of .NET Framework is required. In order to continue with our upgrade, we need to click Install. At this point, a restart is required, so we'll click Yes and wait until the installer returns us to the desktop. Whenever possible, the installer will continue the process right where it left off. The .NET Framework installation has been completed and we'll pick up from there. Sending usage statistics to SolarWinds is optional. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will uncheck the box. We have already performed a backup of our database, so we can type Yes and click Next. We accept the license agreement and click Next. For this installation, we'll select Enable QoE later and click Next. Click Next again to start the installation. Once the installation is done, click Finish and the Configuration Wizard will launch automatically. Because we're upgrading and not performing a fresh installation, the Configuration Wizard already has all the correct connection information. Just click Next, Next, and Next again. Also, since we're not migrating, all these settings will stay the same. This message is just a reminder that we will be making upgrades to the existing website. Click Yes. Leave all the services selected and click Next. Verify the configuration summary and click Next. It's important to note that anytime we perform a stepped upgrade, we need to run the configuration wizard before upgrading to NPM 12. This is because there will be changes to the database, and these changes need to be completed before moving from version 11 to version 12. Once the configuration wizard is finished, we can move to the next step in the upgrade process. Whenever you perform multiple upgrades, there's a lot of repetition. The steps for upgrading to NPM 12 are the same ones that we just went through for 11.01. We start by opening the service manager, shutting down all the services, and then closing it. Next, we go to the downloads folder and run the NPM 12 installer.
once again, we are required to install the .NET framework and then restart the computer. The installer will pick up where it left off. Sending usage statistics is optional. Our database has been backed up. We accept the license agreement and click Next. And click Next again to start the installation. When the installation is complete, we click Finish and launch the configuration wizard. Because all our configuration settings are going to stay the same, we can just click Next through all of these and start the configuration. The configuration wizard is complete. At this point, we'll do a quick post-installation review just to make sure everything is working properly. We're going to click Finish and allow the Orion Web Console to launch. Once we log in, we see an introduction to the new UI changes. There's also a video tour available to help us take advantage of those changes. On the welcome page, we can see that the elements we need for our environment have been discovered and are being monitored. If we go to the Orion homepage, we can see that our resources have been updated. If we click on one of our Cisco devices and go to the No Details page, we can verify the last time it was updated. We could also check one of our additional polling engines by going to Settings, All Settings, Polling Engines. Here we see that the polar is responding and active and that it updated just a few seconds ago. So, it looks like our upgrade is successful. This wraps up our demonstration of a standalone upgrade to NPM 12. If you're planning to upgrade multiple SolarWinds products, please check out the next video in this series.